a lot of people want to know, and this is like maybe the million dollar question of all of us outside of Georgia, you know, looking from the outside in, um, what can the rest of the country do to support your efforts in Georgia? Um, or what should people know about Georgia? Um, I, I, there was a comment, this isn't a question, but there was a comment that said, if you're surprised by what happened, the turnout, then what happened in Georgia in the November election means you're not paying attention, right? This is a shift that's been happening. So I, I think that this kind of goes along with this. So just want to mention, um, so, so this is the question for, for you guys. Um, how can we, you know, from the outside in, you know, Nicole and I thought, let's reach out to people that are on the ground. Let's reach out to the people that are doing the work that have been doing the work, that have been working with these communities and see how we can support. Um, but this is a question that people have, you know, from the outside that are looking at you all and, and, and looking at, okay, how can we help? Um, what, what should we know about Georgia and how can we best support? Así que cerramos con esta pregunta para Gigi y para, y para Jerry. Eh, ¿Qué se puede hacer nosotros que estamos en diferentes partes de la República que queremos apoyar a Georgia? ¿Qué podemos hacer? Eh, es la pr primera pregunta y ¿qué debemos de saber? de Georgia también este, en este contexto. Así que empezamos contigo, Gigi. There is, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens, there are dozens and dozens of, of organizations that have been doing this work for decades in Georgia. And there are thousands of folks on the street as we speak, working to make sure that people exercise their right. I think that the best thing people can do from outside Georgia is to send money so that our people are paid well and that the organizations have the resources to ensure the continuity and sustainability of the work that we already did. Because you're absolutely right, uh, Nancy and, and, and you know Jerry and I and, and Stephanie and everybody else, before the general election, we were already planning for the campaign for runoff because we all knew there was going to be a runoff. It is only folks that were not from Georgia that were surprised. We knew it the night of the election. We knew how you know things were counted. We knew because we have seen it trending and because we have worked every year to make this happen. So I think money, recognizing that local talent experience and leadership exist and has existed for decades uh you know it's it's important and it's a and it's a way a very respectful way to say thank you for the work that you know organizations have been doing on the ground um the second thing is if you know people in georgia call them out uh you know organizing is relational you know you have whatsapp text all your folks your primo everybody you know tell them that it's that important for the first time really millions and millions and millions of people in the state, in the, in the entire country, I'm sure, you know, are really depending on what Georgia citizens like me, right? What, like Jerry, like Ivan, you know, do. From now until January 5th, you know, the impact of our vote is going to have ripples and, you know, consequences for years. There are right now over 350 bills waiting in the Senate blocked and so you know call your people <laughs> you know tell them to vote tell them that you depend on them because it's true and then the third thing is you know if there are still volunteer opportunities that you can support from wherever you are you know you can make calls you can write cards uh jerry has a wonderful holiday uh effort that i'm sure he'll tell you about uh you know you can text people you can do that uh but you know keep your COVID with you <laughs> we're full in georgia <laughs> So, uh, thank you. Um, en español, eh, lo mejor que pueden hacer es invertir en las organizaciones que han llevado, que llevan haciendo este trabajo por décadas y que ya están aquí. Hay miles y miles y miles de personas que llevan trabajando para lograr los resultados de participación electoral que tenemos. Y es una manera de decir gracias y de respetar el liderazgo local de la comunidad. Eh, La segunda manera que pueden ayudar es que si tienen amigos, familiares, colegas en Georgia, llámenlos. Toda la organizing y la manera como nosotros trabajamos es siempre muy conectada a las relaciones que tenemos. Llámenlos, díganles que es tan importante y que su voto los va a afectar a ustedes porque depende de los ciudadanos de Georgia las decisiones que se van a tomar. Hay más de 350 leyes que están, propuestas de ley paradas en el Senado al momento. Y depende de cómo votemos, es que algunas de esas leyes pues pasarán o no pasarán. Eh, y la tercera cosa es que pueden ofrecerse de voluntarios desde donde sea que estén enviando 
eh, cartas o postales, enviando textos, llamando gente. Eh, al momento, el Fondo Latino Comunitario, ya nosotros hemos cerrado nuestra participación voluntaria porque estamos más bien enfocados a entrenar a la gente para la parte de election protection, de interpretación y todo eso. Pero hay muchas otras campañas que están todavía recibiendo voluntarios y se lo paso a Jerry para que él nos cuente más. Thank you, Gigi. Uh, yes, uh, resources are really important to recognize that, uh, again, the, the, the moment in time that we're in in, hi in in history today in Georgia has not happened overnight. It's happened over decades of work uh, that, that many groups on the ground have been doing uh, here. Uh, so that's, that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, the, the second thing is, yes, we welcome, uh, Galeo is welcoming bilingual volunteers. Uh, they have to be bilingual in English and Spanish because that's what our community needs. Uh, our many, uh, as I mentioned, language access is a big issue, and that's a big, uh, big focus of our voter outreach is we have to be ready to be able to switch between English and Spanish uh, at a moment's notice when we're on the phones with folks. So yes, we do welcome uh, volunteers uh, from all over the country to help, help us uh, call Latino voters to encourage them Uh, about uh, encourage them to go out to vote and the national importance that this election has for issues such as climate change, for issues such as immigration reform. Uh, so that has an impact nationally, not just uh, here in Georgia. So uh, we're inviting folks from around the country to help us virtually uh, to phone bank uh, with, with our efforts as well. Uh, the email uh, to get information about that, uh, send an email to polo at galeo.org, P-O-L-O, at galeo.org to get more information. The other piece that we're inviting people from around the country to do, and this is something that, that's really uh, a great idea from staff, uh, is we, we're calling it Felices Fiestas. It's a holiday card campaign that we're inviting folks from around the country to adopt just 10 Latino households and send them a holiday card, wishing them a happy holiday season, but also reminding them that there's an election going on. They should go early vote or they should go vote on January 5th. Uh, we provide all the instructions in English and Spanish. You don't have to speak English or you don't have to speak either or. You can speak English or Spanish or another language, but we provide you all the information that you will need by email. Uh, and then we, uh, we give you all the instructions. You buy your own holiday cards uh, and you mail them from wherever you are. And that adds another element to the importance of, 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 of the Latino vote in Georgia because people from around the country are paying attention. Uh, so we'd be more than happy to, to have that. Uh, we've extended uh, the deadline for that. Uh, just uh, so more information will be on our social media posts as well. But you can also send an email to polo at galeo.org for more information. Este, ahora en español, este, sí, este, en recursos es muy importante para las organizaciones que están haciendo el trabajo aquí en el estado de Georgia. Eso es claro, muy importante para el, el trabajo que se ha hecho por, por varios años ya. Este, y luego también, este, sí, necesitamos voluntarios. Si este, quieren hacer llamadas con nosotros, Galeo los invita de ser parte de esos, esos, esos esfuerzos. Este, pueden mandar un correo electrónico a polo.galeo.org para más información. Y luego, última, este, tenemos una campaña para mandar cartas de felices fiestas uh, para votantes latinos en su casa. Estamos pidiendo que, que personas voluntarias uh, adopten uh, 10 uh, familias uh, latinas para mandarles una tarjeta de este feliz Navidad o feliz uh, Año Nuevo. Este, y luego, pero también uh, recordándoles que hay una elección muy importante y que deben de ir a votar temprano o el día de la elección. Uh, so eso es lo que estamos promoviendo y invitamos a la comunidad que nos ayude en esos esfuerzos. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, um, Gigi uh, Pedraza from Latino Community Fund of Georgia, uh, Jerry Gonzalez, CEO of uh, Galeo, and of course, Nicole Malaku, Executive Director of the National Partnership for New Americans. Thank you so much for your time.